Hey guys, this is my 2024 GMC Sierra 2500 HD. And in today's video, my goal is to answer three questions. The first is, what is missing from my SLE build right here? Second question is, why didn't I just get an SLT? I've had that question asked a lot. And then third question is, if there was anything taken away from my SLE build here, what would those features be that would cause me then to upgrade or step up to a higher trim level like the SLT? Hopefully I worded that question right and it's not too confusing. I'll elaborate on that later. And then I'm also going to make a comparison of sorts, kind of a reality check that may surprise some. So definitely stick around to the end of the video. Okay, so first question I'm going to answer is what is missing from my SLE trim level truck here? And I just wanna start out by saying, you know, most of us buy these trucks for their capabilities, right? We have something to tow like I have back there in RV, or maybe you got something heavy to haul in the back of your bed. And so that's why you buy these trucks, these heavy duty trucks in the first place. And I just wanna point out that regardless of which trim level you settle on, at least in the GM lineup here, you're going to have the same performance out of the engine in terms of horsepower, torque, the transmission, all that's gonna be the same, you know, from the SLE all the way up to the highest Denali trim level. In fact, you might even have slightly greater capabilities with an SLE trim level truck in terms of your payload because it doesn't have maybe some of those extra features and weight that a higher trim level truck like a Denali might have that will take away ultimately from your, your payload. And typically your payload on a truck like this is gonna be your limiting factor in terms of how much you can actually tow. And so I just wanted to point that out up front that going to a lower trim level is not going to reduce your towing capability, for instance. If anything, it might slightly increase it. And speaking of payload, for those who are curious, my truck build as configured, you can see right here, has a payload of 3,314 pounds. Now, if you didn't catch the full build video that I did on the truck, I'll put a card up for that. Definitely check it out. It goes through all the different options that are on my truck. But going back to our first question, what is missing here on my SLE truck? And check this out up front. I've got LED headlamps and turn signals up front. You know, a lot of times on trucks, especially the base level trucks, manufacturers will put, you know, a cheaper halogen uh, headlight up here and incandescent bulbs, but you actually get LED headlamps. You also get LED fog lamps down there. I've got LED clearance lights up top, LED fender lights, LEDs on the mirror, the marker, the spot, some more spot right there. And then of course, LED on the rear fender. And then out back here on the tail light, it's kind of half LED. So the C-shaped right here, the running lights are LED, but then the brake and turn from the factory are incandescent along with the reverse. I did change that. I put a, an aftermarket LED bulb in here. It's a lot brighter. Same thing for the reverse as well. If you didn't catch that video, I'll put a card up for that. But I mean, overall, the fact that the majority of the lights on the outside are all LED from the factory, except for the tail light, the reverse, and the license plate, which I replace, that's pretty impressive for a, a base level truck. So what else is missing from my SLE trim level? Well, I've got uh, keyless entry, of course, proximity, so you can walk up and then push the button to unlock the truck. So that's pretty nice. Of course, it has the same towing mirrors that are on the higher trim level. It's just that these extend manually out and in. It still does adjust power up here, but then the spot down here is gonna be manual. It's got 20 inch rims. Now that was an upgrade for the SLE package here. And then it does have some more aggressive tires here that were part of the X31 package. Out back though, I've got the, the step there on the side of the cab, both on the front and the back bumper there. Now, of course, being a heavy duty truck, it does come standard with the two and a half inch receiver out back. It's got parking sensors in the rear bumper there. I've got the multi-pro tailgate, nice little LED there. And in the back of the bed, I even have LED lights there as well. So pretty fancy there. We've got redundant seven way and four pin connectors there because I do have the, the gooseneck prep package as well. I even have a 400 watt, 120 volt AC plug in the back there. And I almost forgot, it does have the provisions for the GM trailer camera wiring right here. So you can do two different hardwired cameras inside and outside your trailer if you wish. And I mean, check out the side profile. Again, this is my SLE trim level truck. I think it looks really sharp. I mean, you've got that spoiler out back that's painted. 
you got some nice accents around the window the door handles are all body colored i just think this is a really sharp looking truck and it's just one step above an entry-level work truck all right so what am i missing on the outside of of my truck i mean i can't think of anything guys but let me know what you think in the comments below let's go on to the inside and see you know what am i missing on this sle trim level truck here notice we've got some nice wood grain here of course we got the power windows we've got power folding mirrors this one kind of surprised me check this out power folding mirrors on an sle trim level truck like i said before the mirrors are adjustable power but it's only the the top the bottom spotter you've got to do manually but check this out we've got some simulated stitching on the door panel this is all soft touch by the way it even comes with an electronic parking brake of course these are the four-wheel drive controls and the drive modes it's got automatic headlights that are going to come on at dusk automatically this one surprised me it even has auto dimming brights okay so if you've got your brights on at night it will automatically dim between the brights and the regular headlights with oncoming traffic now as we keep moving on to the inside and ask the question what is missing from my sle trim level truck okay so i don't have leather seats these are cloth seats and you know the last four trucks or so that i've had have all had leather seats i was a little unsure what I would think about these, but it is a very nice cloth and I like how they varied the patterns here. They've got really three different patterns and some stitching on the seats. They're very comfortable. And one thing that was a must have for me is an adjustable lumbar here on the back. And so this truck does have that even though it does have cloth seats. And I almost forgot to point out that from a safety standpoint, it's my understanding that the airbags are the same across the line of them. You've got airbags on the seats here, you've got curtain airbags up top here, of course in the front and on the passenger side, and then out back in the rear. But I'm gonna hop on the inside and let's continue answering the question, what is missing here on my SLE trim level truck? Of course, it's got the nice digital display right here. It's got a leather wrapped steering wheel. That's really important for me. I like something nice to hold on to. But check this out over here. I've got adaptive cruise control on an SLE. I've got a heated steering wheel. Oh, I just thought of something that is missing here on my SLE, and that is I don't have automatic rain sensing wipers. Every time it rains, I have to turn on my wipers manually oh poor me right you know actually those wipers don't always work so well anyway the automatic ones so i really don't mind the fact that these are manual it's still got the intermittent range right there then the low and the high so really no complaints there and then check this out here on my sle trim level truck i've got a 13.4 inch infotainment display right here this is the same infotainment system the same display that you're going to find in the highest trim level trucks in the Denali. Now, granted, the layout's a little different with the air vents on top and the trim and the bezel and everything, but this is the same exact display. I've talked about this in some of my other videos. It's a Google-based system. I really think GM went in the right direction with this particular system. It's very responsive. Of course, it works with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, but I'm a big fan of this 13.4 inch display. And while I've got it pulled up, check this out look at all the camera angles that i've got here on my sle trim level truck i mean just pages and pages of different angles and zoom check out all the different features here in the vehicle settings you've got all these safety systems here automatic emergency braking front pedestrian braking got all these other safety features here of course you can start the truck remotely with the key fob it's got all these different settings you can adjust and then of course it has the the trailering app and so you can store your trailers in this system it'll keep up with your mileage you can do of course the light check all the different checklists they have in here the tire pressure monitoring and of course the cameras that i showed you before and this is all on an sle trim level one step above a work truck but i mean what a nice large display it's really helpful navigating to be able to see everything so nice and big then below the infotainment system i've got the lane departure warning again on my sle now granted that feature is a little bit annoying i probably won't use it a whole lot maybe if i'm on the highway and feeling kind of drowsy i might turn that on it just beeps at you 
but it's got those parking sensors out back that I mentioned. It's got for the tailgate, you can release that remotely right here. Of course, hazard lights, traction control, and with the X31 package, the hill descent control. Now check this out down here. I've got automatic dual zone climate control. Again, on my SLE, automatic dual zone climate control, I've got heated seats right here. You can do just the back or the back and the bottom. Same for the passenger as well. So what else am I missing here on my SLE trim level? Well, up top, I've got the home link buttons for your garage remotes, the rear sliding glass, the OnStar, of course, LEDs, and a standard mirror. It's not a camera mirror, but it is auto dimming. Now, I don't have a sunroof, so I'll give you that, but that doesn't really interest me personally. Let's check out back and see what am I missing in my SLE trim level truck. I'll just point out that we do have air vents for the rear passengers, and I do have another 120 volt outlet right here in the cab. That's a 400 watt with USB ports. There's that sliding glass, and it does have a rear window defroster. It's got the standard dual glove boxes, so you've got a little compartment here, and then the standard one down below. Uh, now, here's something that might be a deal breaker for some, and that is the passenger seat is manually adjusted on the recline and then sliding forward and backwards, and it does not have a manual lumbar or any other kind of adjustments. For me, not a big deal because I usually don't have a passenger riding up here, but that is something to consider. All right, so again, I asked the question, what is missing specifically from my SLE trim level truck? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And while you're doing that, let me answer the second question, and that is why didn't I just buy an SLT? trim level truck because again this is my SLE that is probably the most frequently asked question you know my truck priced out right at about 67 or so for the MSRP and so I've had so many people ask me why didn't you get an SLT trim level truck did you know that the SLT trim level truck starts out at about $67,000 and yes I bought an SLE trim level truck and the reason mine was 67 was because it has quite a few options. If you didn't catch that original build video, definitely refer back to that. And I mean, as you saw in today's video, there are a lot of options and things that were added on to this SLE trim level truck. If I were to get an SLT trim level truck and then add the same options that I added here to my SLE, it would have been about $6,000 higher now, granted, I would be getting some additional things in that SLT, things like leather seats, you know, LED tail lights out back, a Bose sound system, and a whole bunch of other different nice features that are nice to have, right? But that was $6,000 that I really wasn't interested in spending. But another major factor why I landed on the SLE here as opposed to the SLT was this bench seat right here. Now, I realize I'm probably in the minority as far as preferring bench seats on trucks, but I just really like them. I like the extra space that you get between the seat and the dash there. And I like the fact that if you ever need six passenger seating, then you just flip up that center section and you're done. So that was a major factor. Now I will say you can get a bench seat on an SLT. That's right, you can get a bench seat on an SLT. However, it's gonna have to be a base SLT. By the time you start adding options, like some of the safety features, it's going to automatically get rid of that bench seat and put the center flow through console with the SLT. And so when I discovered that, that was also a major factor of why I ended up landing with the SLE because I can have some of those additional features and options and retain the bench seat. And so that is why I landed on the SLE trim level here as opposed to the SLT. Again, the $6,000 difference in cost and my beloved bench seat right here. But let me answer the third question, and that is what features, if they were missing here from my SLE build, whether it was options or features, you know, native to the SLE trim level, if those were missing and taken out of here, what features would those be that would cause me then to jump to an SLT or higher trim level. And really there's four features that come to mind. You know, if these four features weren't available here on my SLE, I probably would have gone with an SLT. And the first one is this infotainment screen, the 13.4 inch infotainment screen. I really like this a lot. And you know, a lot of times truck brands in the base trim level trucks, they will put a smaller screen here than a thicker bezel going around it. And I really think it kind of ruins the look in the dash. So I'm really pleased that GM put this 13.4 inch screen. If it wasn't here or available in SLE trim level, I probably would have stepped up. 
The next one would be this adjustable lumbar. So if the adjustable lumbar was not available on the SLE trim level, then I probably would have stepped up to an SLT or higher trim level. Another one would be this leather wrapped steering wheel. Now I know that may sound kind of petty, but I like something nice to hold in my hands. And uh, I really like the leather wrapped steering wheel over just a, a standard molded wheel. And you know, in some other brands like the Ford, for instance, when you get the XLT, it's gonna have a molded steering wheel. So I really like that GM put this leather wrapped steering wheel. Then the fourth and final feature, if it was missing, that would cause me to upgrade to a higher trim level truck would be the appearance out front, mainly with all the LED headlights and everything else going on up front here. Again, in a lot of the base trim level trucks, the lower trim level trucks, the manufacturers will do something downgraded up front and it just really takes away from the exterior appearance in my opinion up front and so i'm really pleased that gm put all these nice led lights up front i just really think it makes the truck have a, a real sharp appearance and again this is an sle trim level okay so the whole purpose of this video is to answer some of the questions i've gotten about why did i land on an sle trim level as opposed to an sl or even a Denali or an AT4 for that matter. I mean, those are great looking trucks. They look great inside and out, don't get me wrong. But you know, there's not a lot of content, especially on YouTube here on the SLE trim level trucks. I mean, a lot of the videos, the walkthroughs, all the press release videos and everything, they're the higher trim level trucks, the Denali's, the AT4. And again, those trucks look great, but there's not as much content on the SLE as far as what do you actually get with an SLE. And so I wanted to make this video to help folks out. I mean, if you're like me, maybe you came from a higher trim level truck previously. You know, I was previously a Ram guy, had a Laramie trim level trucks for the last few, and I had a Chevy before that that was an LTZ. And so coming to an SLE was something new for me. And I wanted to make sure that it had the, the features that I was looking for. And in the end, I couldn't be more content, you know, more pleased with the way that uh, GM packaged everything. I mean, I really think it's great the way you can get an SLE trim level truck, but then add in some of those features, some of those options that typically only come with the, the higher trim level trucks. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I really think GM did a phenomenal job on packaging the SLE and just all the value that it brings to the table. But like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to make a comparison, kind of do a reality check here for just a moment to put things in perspective. And I think you'll find this really interesting. But do me a favor and think back about 25, maybe 30 years ago in the automotive industry, specifically with trucks, and think about all the different truck brands, you know, Chevy, GMC, Ford, Ram, or Dodge at the time, and think about what those top level, those top trim trucks looked like, you know, back in the, the 90s, right? And I would dare say that this SLE trim level truck exceeds, that's right, I think it exceeds what those top level trim trucks were like back in the, the 90s, exceeds it in, in many ways. I mean, the only thing that I can think of where this truck would fall short would be that it doesn't have leather seats. But in every other area of this truck, I think it is vastly superior with all the features packed into it compared to top level trucks of the the 90s and so i think it's helpful just to do a reality check and think about how far cars and trucks have come over the the last few decades and just all the features and amenities that are packed into them nowadays that this sle trim level truck which is one step above a work truck is nearly equivalent to what the top of the line, the top trim level trucks were like back in the 90s. Well, anyway, I just wanted to put that interesting comparison out there, but I do hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And you know, this is really a personal decision at the end of the day. I mean, for me, the SLE has everything that I need in a truck and then some. And so for me, I really wanted to say that that $6,000 or so and use that for something else. But in your case, it might be completely different. So definitely let us know in the comments below. Of course, if you got any questions, I'd love to hear from you. And as always, thanks for watching.